Bokatov Khavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have here in the background some of the images of Hurricane Irma as it has hit and, uh, already hit many of the islands there. This coming from the Independence uh, News website there. Uh, very, very devastating storm. Uh, 185 mile per hour winds is what we're uh, hearing about the storm as of right now. And of course, a lot of you have sent us emails and stuff, very concerned about, uh, about us here in Florida, because yes, we are in Florida. We're in Orlando. Uh, we used to live down there in Fort Myers, Florida. And as you can see from the uh, Weather Channel's particular map right here of the track of the storm, um, it is definitely a massive storm, and it is going to make a beeline, not just for Florida, but actually, as you can see right here on the map here, as it gets up, it's going to turn. So if the eye wall were to hit Miami, it's going to turn and go straight up the middle of Florida here. We're told that here in Orlando, we can expect upwards to 135 mile an hour sustained winds. They expect the eye wall to pretty much go over Orlando area. Uh, and we are still debating whether or not we're going to leave or will we try to endure this particular storm here and then leave afterwards. We do want to try to cover uh, this storm for you guys and what's happening. In fact, yesterday while we were out, my son actually took some video footage of the store shelves that have gone empty. Even here in Orlando, there is a panic already. Water supplies are completely depleted. And of course, we're expecting fuel supplies as well to go. Uh, there are no gas cans available anywhere to be bought down here. Uh, there, there is, uh, like I said, water. We, we watched this huge long line in Walmart uh, that uh, were waiting for water, and they brought in one half pallet of water, which was gone in seconds. Uh, so it's very, very disturbing exactly what we're about to face here. I, I can remember myself as a young man, only five, Five or six years old when Hurricane Camille hit the Gulf Coast. We actually lived there, uh, and I, I still remember it very vividly back in 1969. And uh, I can remember the the rain was uh, unbelievable. For days, we were able to play in our front yard there because the water was so deep. We did it like a swimming pool. Uh, and uh, of course, then my parents took me. We went right down the coast of uh, Alabama, Mississippi, there where the brunt of the storm really took the heaviest there. And we, I can still remember the images of the large boats and stuff that were up on land. Of course, Camille, uh, 190 to 200 mile per hour winds that drove uh, this storm and caused such havoc in the area. But of course, back then you didn't have as much uh, property on the front uh, beach fronts there. So, but anyway, very, very damaging storm. And so with uh, Irma coming now, we know that for a fact this huge of a storm and this type of wind damage is just going to wreak havoc on the people here in Florida. So definitely be in prayer for the people here uh, and for the safety and that people will seek to, to move. We have seen the interstates already backed up with people uh, just as we cross over like uh, Interstate 4. Uh, wall to wall traffic. Orlando is typically like this, but I mean, it has just been majorly uh, jammed up more than usual. So very concerned about what uh, what's going to happen here today and tomorrow. People trying to evacuate the state of Florida is going to be a, a traffic jam. At least people are trying to heed the warnings and move out sooner than later. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. And we will try to cover as much as we can of the storm as well for you. Uh, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Follow up. Two more broadcasts coming up. Very serious situation there in the Middle East and Syria. Israel striking uh, Syrian Arab army targets uh, inside of Syria from the Lebanese airspace. We'll be going into that next as well as North Korea and Putin saying that nuclear weapons are not going to be used in uh, North Korea. It is obvious the U.S. is going to strike and Putin has pretty much made that clear that's going to happen. And that's probably the only thing that will keep Russia out of the war is if there are no nukes that go off. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.